Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be exploring the world of virtual reality and better yet, virtual reality on a budget. Now if you bought one of these, a cardboard VR viewer, you'd probably just be able to expect to play a few mobile based VR games, games that are available on the Android or iOS store. But what if you wanted to play fully fledged PC games without spending the money on an Oculus or HTC Vive? Well, now you can. This cost about five to seven pounds or roughly 10 dollars and I'm going to show you how you can use this and your phone to link to an app on your PC in order to play fully fledged PC VR games that would be available on Steam VR and the Oculus Store. So without further ado let's get straight into it and have a little go and see what it's like. So first of all you want to download the VRidge app by Riftcat on your Android device and download the program on your PC as well. Open both at the same time and the desktop application should find your mobile device and then link together. There you'll get the option to play Steam VR games, Oculus games or Riftcat games and I'll show you a couple of those first. After it's connected here you will see on your Android device, I'm using a tablet, um, that it's linked together and then you can slot it in. So let's play a few games. Now guys, I know what you're thinking, this looks pretty ridiculous, and you wouldn't be far wrong, but to be honest, it was either use this tablet, which probably isn't that much bigger than like an Oculus Rift or something like that, or use a phone with no gyroscope, which would completely, I feel, take away from the experience. The gyroscope is basically the thing that lets your head have this free movement, you see when I'm looking around, otherwise I'd just be able to look side to side like that using the analog stick. So let's have a walk around here, and I have to say this is amazingly immersive. That is a very, oh, uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> if we just walk around this cafe here, it really does look and feel really, really cool. Cool, oh, excuse me. There we go. And I don't think so. <laughs> let's have a look anyway, what, what, oh. I do not like the look of that. Am I stuck? I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? <laughs> I'm stuck. Go down the wall. Get down the stairs. Oh, he's not going down. That's okay. Oh, that's it. We'll just we'll just manoeuvre down them backwards then. <laughs> I would say smoking isn't very good for you, but seeing as we're just about to jump out of a plane into a war zone, I don't think that's the uh, at the forefront of his priorities. So um. I'll leave him to that, but let's uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. I have to fall up. I'm gonna have to. Oh, sorry guys, I'm facing the wrong way. Ah, uh, ah, uh, whoa! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's that is insane. Whoa! Look at that. Sorry, you have to look at the back of my head. If I face this way, oh, my whole body's just backwards. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> so this is Project Cars <laughs> in VR, which is very strangely uh, off-putting. <laughs> I should really be sitting down for this as well, but <laughs> I have no control over <laughs> Now we're driving. Now we're driving. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I can't drive. <laughs> oh, I can't drive. It's more because it's you're studying the details. Like I'm not really trying to drive. I'm just like admiring the landscape. So there we have it, guys. I had a lot of fun playing with this little cardboard VR setup. Um, I think it's definitely worth it if you want to buy one of them for about ten dollars. Then you can download the uh, VR Ridge from Riftcat application on your Android device and the program on your PC. If you want the full version, it costs about 15 euros or the equivalent depending on where you live. Or you can use the free trial version for sort of 10 minute gameplay sessions at a time, but I would definitely recommend the full version as it is quite a lot of fun, especially if you don't want to go out and pay uh, quite a bit of money for the Vive or the Oculus Rift. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.